Hey guys, how we doing? Happy Friday to everybody. Unfortunately, I am out of the building today and wanted to uh, get your class session started with me running down through some of the stations we have set up for today. These are <clears throat> four stations that we have done before with uh, a slight twist on some of them. So station number one is going to be on the loo. We are used to using the loo. The thing that's changed about this today is that we are using uh, the soccer balls, as you can see and it is in free play mode. It only has one app choice and that is sports. So for the fourth and fifth graders, they've seen this before, third graders, this is new for you. When you get into the sports, you will see that you have five options. You have basketball, soccer, football, uh, handball, and volleyball. Each time you choose a sport, there's gonna be some settings that you get to choose. <clears throat> First, it's going to ask about points or score. Uh, sorry, points or time. You want to choose time, and I would recommend two or three minutes for each round. That way you get a couple of rounds per station. After that, it's going to give you some options about <clears throat> what the setup is like. So if you're using soccer, for example, you can have an empty goal, and you can have one of your students be a goalie. Just make sure that you're ready to have a whole lot of those soccer balls kicked at you. Or you can choose to have a character in, in goal, <clears throat> and there are some spots where you can choose to have – uh, different point values. So if you hit the spot where it has three stars, it's three points. If you hit a spot where there's two stars, there's two points. Just remember that the person we choose to be in charge of the loo is going to choose the <clears throat> the sport for the day or for that time, and nobody else should be touching the wall. When it comes time to clean up that station, put the balls back into the hula hoops and get your group quiet so that we can rotate. The sooner you guys are cleaned up, the sooner we will rotate. The second station is... Uh, striker ball. We should all know the general rules for that by now. Remember, if, if you're the new person coming into the game, you're the server. You roll the ball slowly as a serve, and then from there we can hit it hard. <clears throat> the way that you get out of the game is by having the ball exit the circle in between your cones, whether that's between your legs, next to your legs, over your head. If it leaves the game in between your cones, you are out. Uh, when you're out, Go back in line. You'll be back in the game quickly. If there's any disagreements about who is or isn't out, you know that we use rock, paper, scissors to solve that problem. Uh, clean up for this station is pretty simple. Just make sure that your cones are somewhat evenly spread out and leave the ball in the middle, please. <clears throat> station number three is the grand prize game. That is the hula hoop or hula uh, bean bag tossing game with the hula hoops. There are eight hula hoops, so you have to make all eight in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you make them out of order, one, two, three, five, that means your turn is over. Or if you miss any of the hula hoops at all, your turn is over. The first five hula hoops are blue. So you need to make those first five hula hoops. If you do, please get uh, Miss Bundy's attention or whoever the guest teacher is attention so that they can watch you make the last three just so we can verify that nobody cheated because unfortunately some people think it's okay to cheat. If you make all of them, your name goes up on that board with the grand prize game winners. I think we had four or five from <clears throat> Thursday, so hopefully we get a couple more added to that. When your turn is over, go pick up the bean bags, carry them back, don't throw them back because then it just causes more problems and they, they end up all over the place. So just walk them back to the next person and they can have their turn and jump back in line. <clears throat> when it comes time to clean up, just put the bean bags in a pile and have a seat quietly so we can get you going to the next station. The final station is um, gopher tag. We are used to gopher tag. The only thing that's going to be different about this is that today it's going to be a student run station. So you are used to, <coughs> excuse me, my throat. You are used to Miss Bundy and myself telling you when it's time to go and telling you, you know, when it's time to look away. So you guys have to be a little bit more responsible in this and you can handle this. And the gophers are going to go hide. And when they are ready, they are going to use their big outdoor voices to get your attention to say, on your mark, get set, go, or ready, set, go, whatever they want to say to let you know it's time to go. When you are out, <clears throat> Miss Bunny will show you where to go. We will have a spot with some, uh, some blue poly spots showing you where you can sit. And if you're out and you want to be helpful, you could help tell the people when it's time to go. You can watch for the for the gophers to go hide. And once you notice that they're, they're hidden and everybody's ready, you could tell the rest of the people still in the game, three, two, one, go. And then that will help run that game too. If you're a gopher, you are a gopher for four turns, down, back, down, back. 
After that, you're going to hand that tagging stick off to somebody else, and everybody gets back into the game. So those are our stations. You know by now our deal with rotations, and when we do this, that the sooner we clean up each station, the sooner we rotate. Uh, I hope you guys know that the expectations are the same, whether I'm there or not. Miss Bunny knows how to run the show, and whoever's helping her is, is going to do just a good job too. So make sure that you guys do your part. So when I come back on Monday that I got a positive report about you guys, I appreciate all your hard work, and I hope you guys have fun with these stations and have a good Friday and a nice weekend.